Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. We are playing on Critical Mode. In the last episode, uh, depending on if I could fix the recording or not, we either did the Pain and Panic mode, we did the Pain and pa Panic uh, tournament, I should say, over in Olympus Coliseum, or we finished Agrabah. Uh, it totally depends on if I was able to fix that or not. Uh, in either case, in this episode, we are going to head to the Broken Highway and head to one of my favorite worlds in this entire game. Let's go ahead and let's start this baby up, man. Metal Orbs. The metal level is shown in the top left corner. Defeat enemies and collect metal orbs to get more points and score higher metal levels. All right, cool, man. This high wind, though, is on point. Look at this baby. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. It's crazy. It's so fast. So this is the Broken Highway. It is another gummy ship mission that is pretty easy uh, for the most part. You're going to notice that we're not really going to run into many issues at all when we are doing stuff like this. Now, again, you always want to focus on the targets that are going to give you uh, actual items, actual treasures and stuff like that. Uh, as well as just keeping your score as high as possible. Not that it totally matters right now, again, because we don't even have access to the ones that we need. Now, there is a yellow right there, but we were able to kill him and we were able to get a rotor uh, G, which is useful. And look at this! Back versus this guy again. You remember him from the other highway that we were at when before we went to Agrabah. Uh, you want to see anytime that the heartless like head pops up on the side, you just want to focus it, uh, and that'll make it you know pop away and, and do some damage. Oh, he's gone. Way to go, baby. Oh shit. And then we can just focus these guys down. No big deal whatsoever. Don't worry. We will see the wheel again. I promise you. Uh, and then we do have a red here, and we took him down, and we will get a hurricane G. Hell yeah, man. Rock you like a hurricane. Let's see if we can kill this red. That would be the ideal. Yes, we were able to. Perfect. Uh, so we got a shield G from defeating him, which is good. I love shield Gs in this game. Uh, and let's see if we can focus down this red as well. We were able to, and we were able to get a laser upgrade. Hell yeah, baby dolls. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, we got another there, which is a material G plus uh, 10. 10 material Gs, I should say. Uh, not bad, not bad. We're doing okay. We're doing okay so far. I also just love the music, man. It's so good. All right, we got another one, which is a Fyra G. Kicking butt and taking names, man. Kicking butt, taking names. So let's kill these guys real quick. They'll give us some health back, and then we can focus on the rest of these guys. No big deal whatsoever. Uh, you'll just notice that, I mean, as always, you just kind of want to move. You constantly want to move. If you stand still, you're going to be dead. So don't do that. Gravara G. Perfect. Not a huge deal, but at least we got the item that we needed. Or at least an item that's available to us. Uh, I think so far we've actually gotten all of the items that we can, which is which is ideal, man. That's, like, super cool. Uh, let's see if we can focus. Oh, yeah, he died so quick. And we get the Radar G. Yeah, baby. All right, we're back on this guy. We just want to take down this wheel. Oh, now he's flying. WTF, dude. WTF. Focus on that. Yeah. Get this guy out of here. Ultimate Evolution. Good thing we don't have to fight this thing by, uh, like, ourselves, without a, you know, a ship. That would be a problem. Imagine this is like an actual boss fight for Sora. Whew! No thank you. No thank you at all. Boom, baby. You just keep blowing those off and he'll, you know, eventually he'll just pretty much be defeated and go away from you. And we cleared it! Broken Highway is done, baby girl. Good going, Sora! Missions level 1 and 2 are open to us, and we get the Highwind level 7 blueprint. And the Invincible level 1. Ooh. And the Teeny limit upgrade. Nice. And now we can head to the next world on our list. Now, it's worth mentioning that at this point in the game, you can actually head here, uh, you can head to this area over here, Sunlight Storm and whatever that world is, and you can also go back to Twilight Town. Uh, but we are going to go and do all of the worlds that we can before we actually go to Twilight Town. This is a battle level 24. I believe we are about level 24 or 25, so this works really well.
This is Halloween Town, right? Well, it sure does look like Halloween. Hey, it's Zero. How have you been, boy? My favorite world! Oh my god, we're here in Halloween Town. Although, things are going to be a little different. So we start off here in the graveyard, and right up the bat, we can come over here and grab this chest, which is going to be a Serenity Gem! Oh, dude, so many items. There's also another chest right here that we can grab, which is going to be a Mithril Shod. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there should also be another chest. Do, 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 do. I could have sworn there was three here. Uh, but maybe, maybe I'm just stupid. Uh, we can uh, examine the... Oh, damn. Pfft. We can examine this. This is Zero's grave. It seems he's usually sleeping here. Mm. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Goofy. If you're looking for Zero, he flew off towards those buildings. He likes Jack a lot. Maybe Jack's over that way. Donald, it's been a while since I looked like this all wrapped up like a mummy. And you guys look amazing. Something is scribbled here. Messing with gravestones is bad luck. It is. It is. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken... Don't these ones move? Yeah, yeah they'll, they'll fall and they'll break. Yeah. And they'll actually give you money if you, if you, you know, knock these down. You just want to make sure that you don't, you know, get caught underneath one. Or else you'll be smushed. Oh, not all of them do. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and head towards our dear friend Zero. See where he went to towards. Two? What's that for? Sora, Donald, and Goofy, welcome back, and Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas? Don't you mean Happy Halloween? Of course! Halloween greetings from Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King! Forgive me, I'm in a Christmas mood. You see, I'm running the show again this year, but I need Sandy Claus' blessing, so I'm off to Christmas Town. Sandy Claus? I think he means Santa Claus. Aren't these decorations wonderful? This year, Halloween Town's going to handle Christmas, too. But first, we have to visit Sally. She's working on something no self-respecting Santa Claus can do without. Come along, I'll show you. A Halloween Town Christmas. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wanna go check it out? Ooh. Come on, hurry! Do, 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 da, 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 da. Halloween Town. Hmm. Or Christmas Town. Sorry, now bring it over here. He yeah. oh. <sighs> <laughs> 
Imbeciles! Now my experiment is ruined! <laughs> Sally, did you finish it? I want to show my good friends. I'm sorry, Jack. I I need a little bit more time. Oh. Well, that's all right. Just as long as it's ready for Christmas. But, Jack... I'd best be off. I've got to go get Sandy Claus right away. Wonderful to see you again. Goodbye for now. Go get Santa Claus. Please, Thora. I'm afraid something terrible will happen if Jack goes through with this. You can try that again. Sora? Are those strange-looking fellows in the town square with you? Huh? What fellows? You know, the ones who wanted to spoil Halloween and Christmas? What are they called again? Heartless? They're definitely not with us. But Donald, Goofy, and I can get rid of them for you. And then we can go see Santa. But first, the Heartless. All right, so now we have Jack in our party. We're actually going to keep... We're going to keep Jack in here, man. We're going to keep Jack. We're going to uh, uh, keep Jack and Donald's. And Goofy's going to hang out just by himself. Now, we can go ahead and check out Jack's abilities. He has a few, including a limit uh, that is called Applause, Applause. Don't worry, we will be seeing it. Uh, bolts of Sorrow, Lightning Bolts rain down upon the target. Uh, icy Terror, Ice Crystals form around and attack. So he kind of has these elemental attacks that actually work pretty well. And you can even equip him with different boosts uh, that are going to increase the power of those. Uh, Jack is super strong. Highly recommend having him in your party. Uh, we do have some items in our stock. Not a big deal. Uh, now we are in Dr. Finkelstein's lab. So first things first, we want to go ahead and open this up, which will give us a map to Halloween Town, which is perfect. We can talk to Dr. Finkelstein. I can't count on those kids to do anything right. Uh, would you mind helping me? No, I don't know what you're building, and I don't really like it. Junk parts are scattered around. That looks like something we might have to fight soon. Let's go ahead and talk to Sally. Heartless are appearing. Jack wants to become Sandy Claus. I have a feeling that something terrible will happen. Okay. Uh, you can tell that there's nothing too much. There's a security system installed in Jack's house. It's working properly, apparently. Uh, so you can save here if you so choose. All right. Now we can head outside to Halloween Town Square. Uh, and be prepared. Now hear this, you you fiends! Leave Halloween Town at once, by order of the mayor. Jack, where are you? I'm only an elected official. I can't handle this by myself. Jack, we're on it. All right, so these are white knights. These are uh, pretty annoying, but for the most part, you should be fine. Now, they are capable of doing a lot of damage, but you'll be fine. Uh, I'm actually not super worried about these. And in fact, they should be some of the last targets that you focus when you actually are, uh, you know, in combat against multiple heartless. You should actually focus other enemies first and then kind of deal with the white knights second or last or, or whatever order you decide to deal with them. Uh, they do have some reaction commands that we can utilize later, but for right now, I'm not super worried about it. Like I said, you can see how little damage that actually did to us, and he got a full attack off on us. Uh, it does look like Goofy hit level 25 and did indeed level up, which is good for him. And you can easily block their attacks as well. And they get 54 experience each, so that's not bad, man. And you can just clear the courtyard, that's pretty much all we have to do. Now, there are other enemies that will be appearing, and when those appear, I highly recommend focusing those down instead. Uh, as soon as they as soon as they show up, I'll let you know and we can focus on them and get them dead But let's go ahead see if we can kill this now You want to make sure you don't actually hit the fountain because it can kill you which is not fun. All right took them all down baby girls How is Sandy cause so, so, uh, I was supposed to relax with all this going on. I don't know Jack. That's it fellas Sandy Claus needs bodyguards. Are you up to the task? Yeah, oh Sora. He's so excited to see Santa. I don't blame him I don't blame him. See, this is why I love this world, is because it's so much more like the movie. What should we bring along next time? A bucket full of caterpillars! Or something even worse! Who's 
that? Some old hag. Silence. A witch? Hmm. Perhaps you three could be of use to me. Come along, all of you. I'll show you the true meaning of mischief. All right, bodyguards. Christmas Town is this way. The doorway is in the woods just past the graveyard. Okay, cool, Jack. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, my God, the guillotine. It actually doesn't hurt you. It just... Well, it just kind of hits you. All right, so we were able to pick up that energy shard real quick. Now we can come over here and pick up another... Oh, look at all the presents. Uh, and we can go ahead and grab that mithril stone. You can actually, like, get hit by this. So, yeah, it doesn't do damage, but it will knock people away. Uh, which is, you know, unfortunate. Now, we can stand on the grates here. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, we can actually... There should be a... Where is it? Where is it? Ah, right over here. Okay. So we want to go ahead and... Oh, we want to stand on this one. There we go, and we were able to get the duality puzzle piece. That one's really hard to miss if you're not actually looking for it. So, make sure you get that. Now we want to head all the way to the graveyard, which is right over here. And we want to go and defeat the enemies that appear. Now, these are the new enemies that I was telling you about. These are called Driller Moles. You want to kill these as soon as they appear, because they have an annoying habit of going under the ground, where you cannot target them. You can kind of see where they're going, because they'll leave little dust things but for the most part uh you want to take those out first because they just they're just unnecessary damage man unnecessary damage right there we got a lightning stone uh and uh some drive stuff and we took down another driller mole they don't give as much experience as white knights but again you just want to get them out of the way as soon as possible because they can do damage unnecessary damage all right so we're here in the hinterlands which is uh, a new zone that was not in the previous game at all uh, which is super cool obviously you can tell that you know, this is going to revolve a bit around the idea of Christmas Town, which makes me so excited. I don't know if you guys know this, but Christmas is my favorite holiday uh, for an atheist. All right, so uh, we can grab this real quick. Uh, another duality puzzle piece, which is good for us. Actually, if we go ahead and check our journal, let's actually see how we are doing on our puzzle pieces. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, duality might actually be getting pretty damn close indeed. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's rotate this piece. Uh, and we'll put that there, and we'll take this, and we'll put that there, and we'll be able to clear the duality piece. Boom! You solved the puzzle and obtained an item. A rare document, an ancient synthesis recipe for a rare item. Cool. So we did that one. Uh, this one, obviously, we got a long way to go. Daylight, we got a long way to go. And Sunset, we have an incredibly long way to go. Uh, so those are the puzzles that remain. But I wanted to finish that one up since we could. Now then, come closer. I have something to tell you. Hmm. Jack may have said he wants to be Santa, but I'm not so sure that's a good idea. It's hard for me to even imagine a Christmas with Jack as Santa. Yeah, uh, agreed. Agreed. So we can go ahead and talk to Donald here. I know you're excited to see Santa, but I have a bad feeling about this too, like Sally. So let's go ahead and enter Christmas Town. Here it is, the door to Christmas Town. The spooks of Halloween can get so tiresome year after year. I wanted something new, and I found this. Beyond this door is a world filled with wonders, the likes of which you've never seen. At first, I couldn't believe my eyes. Everything was so fresh and exciting. Come on, just open it. In his workshop. Shall we? Ooh. 
So if you've never played the Final Mix version of this game before, you will uh, be surprised to see that Goofy looks like Rudolph, I look like Santa Claus, Sora looks like Santa Claus, and uh, Donald is a snowman. That's so cool. This is new. These are pl brand new to the Final Mix version of the game. So if you've never seen it before, this might be your first time seeing it, you're welcome. It's so cool, man. I love it. I love the new costumes that they added in this version uh, for this world. Before, you just came here in your Halloween town getup. And you didn't have this awesome, awesome looking stuff before. So, uh, real quick, let's go ahead and talk to the synthesizing shop. Let's go ahead and drop this off. And we'll hand over all recipes. Now, if we actually look at recipes, we'll notice that we have a new one, which is called Draw Ring. Uh, which, if I'm not mistaken, will... Well, I mean, it takes a lot to, me to make. You need three Remembrance Shards, which we haven't even seen yet. And Manifest Illusions, but the Draw Ring is pretty darn good. So, uh, just keep that in mind. We were able to do that. Now, they do have new stuff here at the, uh, the Moogle Shop, including a Technician's Ring, I believe, is new. Which will greatly increase your maximum AP by three. Uh, and a Aquamarine, which will increase strength and... So, don't ever buy this. Uh, but the Aquamarine Ring and the Platinum Ring are pretty good. Uh, obviously, I would buy one for Donald and, uh, and one for Goofy. Uh, I wouldn't recommend buying anything else here. You don't totally need it. And, of course, in the next episode, we will explore Christmas Town. Thank you guys so much for watching. Showing up on screen right now is a link to Patreon where you can become a patron for just a dollar a month and get early access to videos, as well as uh, a playlist of this series and, and whatever else that YouTube has chosen to, to show you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to Christmas Town. <laughs>